Good morning, Africa. Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another live stream. My name is Stuart Samkange, and I welcome you to the special live stream where we will be talking about how you can boost your career. And today, for the first time ever, I'm live streaming from Nairobi in Kenya at the Microsoft office. And this special live stream we've got for you today is a combination of Microsoft and LinkedIn helping you boost your career. If you are watching, if you can hear me, I want to make sure I'm actually talking to people and that I'm not on mute. So why don't you start jumping into the comments? Let me know where you're watching from. I want to give a special shout out to your town, your place, and probably your name. So if you are watching and you can hear me, I need some validation and confirmation that you can hear me. And welcome to this special live stream where we're going to be talking about how to boost your career. So whether you're a business professional, whether you're a student, whether you're a graduate, whether you're a job seeker, there's an opportunity for you today to learn how to boost your career. Come on, folks, don't leave me hanging here. Who is watching? Where are you watching from? Like I said, for the first time ever, I'm broadcasting from Nairobi, Kenya. It feels special to bring in opportunities to Africa from Africa. So if you are watching, let me know where you're watching from. As I said, my name is Stuart Samkange, and today's live stream is going to be about how you boost your career. But before we even get into that, I just want to make sure that if this is the first time you're watching, you know what to expect and you know the format for this show. As I said before and in introducing myself, Stuart Samkange at LinkedIn, which is where I work, I have the opportunity to work with colleges, schools, polytechnics, and universities, helping young people get the skills they require for the jobs that they need. And as I said, today with the show, we give you the opportunity to ask questions. This is why you're joining us live, so you can get the answers that you need to know about how to boost your career. So let's see who's online and who's watching us. I see Claude is watching us in Nairobi. How are you doing, Claude? So good to see you. So good to see you online. Hopefully you can share what you learned today with your community. As I always say, each one, teach one. Share with your community because today we're talking about something special, an exclusive opportunity for people to boost their career. So if you are in Nairobi, Claude, and you're all ears, well, you're definitely in the right place. Maxi, thank you very much for joining from Cape Town in South Africa. We're getting representation and hits from everywhere across Africa, including in Ghana. Welcome to this show. And of course, Durban, South Africa being represented on this show as well. And as well as people joining us from France. Isn't that amazing? As I said, share this with your colleagues, share this with other students, share it with those who are developers because they will learn a thing or two that will help them boost their career. But enough of the intros, right? Let's get on with what the show is all about. It's about giving you the opportunity to understand what it takes to boost your career. With that being said, welcome to everybody. We are about to get started. And as always, if you have a question, don't hold on until the end. Add it to the chat. When we see your questions, when we take a break from interviewing our subject matter experts, then we'll get to your question. In terms of subject matter experts, and I want you guys to show some LinkedIn love here. Hit those reaction buttons as I introduce one of our top subject matter experts on the Power Platform. Allow me, please, a round of applause, virtual as it may be, to welcome onto the show, Lola. How are you doing, Lola? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, hello, dear. <laughs> Same to, you. Lola. Same to you. Lola, let my audience know where exactly you're broadcasting from. Oh, I'm broadcasting from Lagos, Nigeria. Love it. This is an opportunity for all Africans. And mm -hmm. already you've got me in Kenya and you've got Lola in Nigeria. What's the weather like in Nigeria? It's sizzling hot out here in Nairobi. Uh, it's not so hot here this morning. It's just, it's not so cold either. It's just, you know, mid there. 
And of course, folks, you can find out a lot more about Lola. She has a LinkedIn profile where you can go to understand a little bit more about what she does on the Power Platform, how she advocates for people like yourself to start developing applications on this platform, and of course, for you to boost your career. So they will find you on, of course, uh, LinkedIn. Lola, we've got one other guest that I want to bring in before we get into our questions and start responding to some of the questions we're getting online. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, please, it's Friday. It's been a long week. It's Friday. Help me virtually welcome my second subject matter expert. Allow me to introduce Favor, joining us right now. Hey, Favor, how are you doing? I'm very good. I'm very good. You're doing I'm good. Doing and, good. And where are you right now, Favor? Okay, I'm joining currently now from um, Nigeria. Excellent. And Favor is one of our Microsoft Learn student ambassadors. So for those of you who are watching, like I said, the opportunity we're talking about today addresses those already in the professional world, those who are developers, those who are students, those who are job seekers. The opportunity is for every single African to get an opportunity to boost their career. And Favor is one of our Microsoft Learn student ambassadors who will be joining us for this conversation. So let's get started with the conversation. As we said, the conversation today is about how you can boost your career with the with the Microsoft Power Apps Africa Challenge. So let me just start off with a traditional question we ask when we do these live streams. Ladies first, let me start with you, Lola. What's the one thing that is not on your LinkedIn profile that you're happy to share with our audience that is from around the globe? Oh, <laughs> okay, Stuart. Um, I don't know if anybody knows that I actually love children. And um, to that, I taught them Power apps um, about, I think, two, three months ago. They right. are children from um, eight to 15. I think, yeah, there was one 16 year old in my class, and it was so beautiful bonding with them. You know, I, I really love children. Love that. You are helping the next gen learn about or learn and get skills to start developing applications. And you said the youngest in that class was how old? Eight, eight. I had one very cute eight year old in my class. Wow. Right, so if you're watching, whether you're cute or you're not, you're definitely over the age of eight. You can develop applications as well. You're in the right place. So keep listening because you in one day could also learn how to develop an application and start solving some of the challenges that your community has, that your company has, that your school has, or something else that you have thought of. So favor over to you. What's the one thing that is not on your LinkedIn profile? Reva, I can't hear you. What's the one thing that's not on your LinkedIn profile? Oh, okay, nice. Let me ask you. I, can't, I definitely can't hear Favor. I think he's getting his sound sorted out. So we won't delay the conversation. We'll proceed with the conversation. And as soon as Favor comes back in, we'll learn a little bit more about him and, of course, what today is all about. So as Favor gets sorted out, back to you, Lola. Allow my audience that is watching from around the globe in a simple manner to understand what is the Power Apps Africa challenge. Yay. So I'm so excited sharing this news with everyone. Like I have told almost everyone in my church workplace about Pops Africa challenge because it's, it's an opportunity for everyone to actually get into tech. So what the Pops Africa challenge is all about is um, helping people get into tech uh, with the uh, Microsoft Power Apps uh, Microsoft Power Platform, all the ecosystem, but focusing on Microsoft Power Apps. And this will be done in a very simplified and gamified way. Gamified, I mean that you will be getting um, different challenges, right? And, you know, they, they are going to be very fun in a very fun-like manner. And um, after this challenge, you will also be able to win coins, you know? So more like I end points 
when I actually do a challenge. And once you end those points, you can actually purchase so many wonderful things with your coins. Things like you can purchase one-on-one -on -one career mentorship with anybody. You will check them. So wow. now, for instance, um, all these people, they have um, a price attached to them. So right. if your coin is um, uh, able to buy this person, and if he's not able to buy this person, what, what do you do? You go back. You do more challenges, all right, and you're able to purchase one-on-one -on -one career coaches there's so many things that you're actually going to learn another thing that you're going to earn is free certification voucher steward like oh, amazing wow. certification <laughs> voucher not just mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and not just that you will also um have the opportunity so now once you get the voucher the voucher is for you to uh, schedule um your exam the exam is not a fundamental exam the exam mm -hmm. is an associate exam all right Okay. Now, so we will not just leave you alone to so just go and uh, shadow this exam. You will also get um, a measure up um, free um, access. What does measure up do? It helps you to actually measure up to be able to, <laughs> to, be able to pass the examination. And other really? things like, you know, okay, I won't mention the other things yet. <laughs> wow, it's, there's it's, so it's, much you've unpacked already. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Carry on, but, you're about to finish off. Yeah, I was going to say it's an amazing opportunity to actually get into tech. So if you've been wanting to get into tech, into tech for so long, it's an amazing opportunity to get into tech. Whatever you know, whether you know so much or you don't know anything at all, you've been confused for months, you want to get into tech, it's an opportunity to come get into tech. <laughs> I love it. Nice, succinct way to summarize what this challenge is about, who it appeals to, which is everybody. So if you're watching or you know someone who's always wanted to get into tech, this is the opportunity. And what's more, it is Friday. She dropped in a keyword for Friday. It's fun. Daily, you get challenges that you can go after. And as you go through those challenges, from what I'm understanding, you're going to win coins. And when you win those coins, you can use those coins to get access to subject matter experts and get some one-on-one -on -one mentoring and coaching. Where else would you get that? Come on, folks. It's a daily challenge. You earn something. And of course, there's some amazing prizes and awards that you're going to be given. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I want you to discover this yourself as you join up. And in terms of joining up, we have made it simple. We even made the URL so small. So you can't even forget this. If you are watching, you could take a quick screen grab. We are going to share it in the, of course, the event calendar where you can go and register. So if you are watching, you can see it on screen. It's a nice, simple uh, website to go to, aka dot ms. ms. Slash P -A -A -C. <laughs> that's it well that's where you're gonna go after this show to go and actually get more information of course about our power apps africa challenge but let's continue on with the discussion so that you know more and then have broadcasting so let me understand this lola this all sounds good this all sounds fun and exciting what personally drove you to start taking an interest in learning about the Microsoft Power Platform? Tell me your story. Uh, okay. <laughs> Stuart, are you going to pay for my story? <laughs> <laughs> tell your people to talk to my people and you'll get paid. But tell, okay. tell my audience right now, <laughs> what drove you to take uh, an interest in, of course, the Microsoft Power Platform? Okay, so it was actually a journey <laughs> to get into the Microsoft Power Platform. Uh, so before um, getting into the Microsoft Power Platform, I did um, software engineering internship. So after my software engineering internship, I, I understood the whole concept you know, of programming, but I knew that, that was, I, I didn't want to be either a front-end developer, and I also did not want to be a back-end developer or any of that. So uh, right, right from when I was in school, I wanted to do something data related. Basically, I wanted to do robotics, all right? And, um, but of course, I, I didn't really know what everything was all about. Then I did plan. So most times when I plan, I do plan A, plan B, plan C, and at times plan D. So my plan B was, okay, uh, in Africa, if I'm not able to 
go for my master's immediately into ad core robotics, then I am going to uh, do robotic process automation, which is RPA. Then if I'm not able to get that, then I'm going to do data engineering. So immediately after my um, after my software engineering, I knew, okay, it's time to, you know, go into my plan A or my plan B. So robotics was not looking like it. So I said, okay, let's check out RPA. And RPA, you know, I checked the companies that uh, are doing RPA in Nigeria. They were not so much. I said, okay, let's do data engineering. However, before all this time, I've taken courses, you know, I've taken machine learning and robotics courses and COVID happened. So I, I was just taking courses. I was taking courses with some universities. I was just there a little bit frustrated because I, you know, you're just learning. I want to do something. So I, I, I went out again and I sent my CV out. I wanted data engineering, which was my plan C. And the HR saw it. She called me and she said, okay, come on, let's have a chat. Um, I saw everything that you've done. And we started talking and she said, oh, do you know that you can actually use uh, have you heard of Microsoft Power Platform before? I said, mm, my friend does Microsoft Power Platform, but you know, I just felt, what am I going to achieve with drag and drop chicken? So I'm like, I'm not doing Microsoft Power Platform. <laughs> and she was like, okay, uh, 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 do you know that you can do, you can use Microsoft Power Platform for robotic process automation? I'm like, oh, okay, okay, wait, wait, let's, <laughs> let's talk some more. <laughs> And, and, you know, she started telling me about it. I said, okay, no problem. I couldn't sleep that night, Stuart. Wow. I started checking. I was checking. Like, this is, you, you just moved me back to my plan B when I was actually going to plan C. I started checking, okay, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I checked, I read, and the next day I went for the interview. And I didn't even know that with Microsoft Power Platform, I could do so many other things. Okay, my mind, I was just like, so I knew my friend was doing Microsoft Power Platform. He does a lot of drag and drop. That was what I thought. And I was like, okay, I would, I would do other fun things like, you know, robotic process automation, like that. And I went for the interview. So I had already read. I met my friend. He taught me everything, at least, all that my brain could take at that point. <laughs> so I went for the interview, and they were so excited that I was actually, you know, excited. However, it was robotic process automation that was pushing me. So mm. I got into the internship because it was internship. I got into the internship and I started seeing the beauty of Microsoft Power Platform. I saw that I can build apps. I can automate. So the, the, the automation was actually the part that got to me because it was closer to robotic process automation. So you can do right. digital process automation, that's DPA, and you can do robotic process automation with Power Automate. Okay, mm -hmm. then I saw Power Virtually then I fell in love with Power Virtually then I saw Power BI and you know it was like I was I was I was I was in this space that I had so many things to learn so I was excited and after a month I was thrown on a project now at the point I was discouraged because I'm like I wanted robotic process automation but I'm here building apps but it was it was actually exciting because I saw that it's not just drag and drop. Yes, it's drag and drop is easy. However, mm -hmm. if I decide to extend with my software engineering skills, I can extend and I'm like, this is beautiful, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, and I got into projects and I, I felt because in, in the company, you know, we had um, software engineering, that's core developers. We had um, people that all they do is just data that I wanted to do. And we had the Power Platform team. And you know, with the Power Platform team, we can do like four things. Four, in fact, I'm just saying four because you can actually yeah. do like five. You can build apps. You right. can automate processes with either DPA or RPA. You mm -hmm. can build um, virtual agents, that's bots, you know, chatbots, cool stuff. And you can also do data. So I'm like, ah, oh, if I'd gone for, I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, brush data engineers i would never do that but i was i was thinking and i'm like if i'm doing just data it would have just been data for somebody that is very adventurous like me but we wouldn't right. bring microsoft power platform i can do like four five things i'm like oh this is where this is where i should be where you belong you're in the right <laughs> <Honestly>. place <laughs> basically let me not bore you with the story but that was how that was how i started and i'm still here 
I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> you are not boring anyone. It just shows your passion is leaking in terms mm. of what this has done for you. And the probably more interesting is a concept I'm always talking about is the fact that each one teach one. Every day, every one of us gets an opportunity to enable someone else. And you've enabled our community today to embrace lifelong learning. And at the same time, to embrace having an open mind, to try new things. Because like you said, if you had gone with your initial career trajectory, you might have been just siloed to one practice, one area of technology. But by joining this initiative, the Microsoft Africa Power App Africa Challenge, you okay. learned a lot more and now you can apply yourself in multiple areas. So thank you for sharing that really passionate story there about how you got into this and what it has done for you. Of course, uh, like I'd said right at the beginning of the show, we were hoping that Flavor would join us. I wanted him to share from a, a Microsoft Learn student perspective what uh, Power Apps has done for him. And of course, those of you who are watching online, thank you very much. As I said, the process is we will be taking some of your questions as we go through this show. And of course, just want to make sure that you are acknowledged and that we can see your comments. Thank you very much. We've got people joining from Nairobi. I've got colleagues joining in from Limpopo in South Africa. We've got representation even from Ethiopia. So, Olya, thank you for joining us. And of course, like I said, folks, if you have questions about our discussion today, which is about you, how you can boost your career, put them into the chat. And of course, when we take the next break, we will be coming back and answering your questions. Thank you very much, Charity, for coming and for representing Kenya. There's several people are watching us from Nairobi, Kenya, which is where I'm broadcasting from today. And of course, seeing some positive vibes there. Hey, how are you doing, Leon? Watching in Dublin Island and, of course, loving this show and learning about, of course, what Microsoft Power Up Challenge is all about. Let's continue with the conversation so that we can acknowledge and, of course, sensitize our people on what else they should know about this amazing opportunity. So we've talked, of course, about what initially piqued your interest. You've told us uh, what is done in terms of broadening your career perspectives and your per career options. But I have a question, and I'm going to ask it as an eight-year-old, because I do have an eight-year-old. How did you learn it? I mean, how, how does one start this journey? Tell me. Uh, and simplify it for me. <laughs> All right, so um, Microsoft has this amazing, I'll call it, it's more like a school, okay? Mm. And even though I was, uh, I started, for me, I started um, with a company that is, I did internship, all right? However, I'm so grateful that the company uh, recognizes this beautiful school that Microsoft has, which is the Microsoft Learn. And favor, favor, has so much to say about that and it's I, I wish it's here so you say microsoft learn you can learn amazing things all right mm -hmm. and that was how i started so the, like i said the company recognizes that oh this 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 is like the best place for you to actually learn this so they gave us access i but it's so easy to actually get access into microsoft learn so right. i got into microsoft learn signed up and i started A another amazing thing that actually piqued my interest in microsoft learn was it was like a competition, elder competition with myself, because as I was learning, <laughs> yeah, as I was learning, I was seeing, um, it was like, they were giving me badges, they were giving right. me points, right? So I was learning, I was seeing all these points, I was seeing all these points, I wanted to really learn, and um, there were questions. So but once you finish one part, you would get questions to check your knowledge. So I'm like, okay, if I don't get it, I go back again, because somebody like me i want to get almost everything so i go back again check all the questions then i quickly because i i go back quickly because um the points are reading the points are reading you know so it's like elder competition against myself so yes i used microsoft learn to actually right. learn power platform and so it was a bit of self-taught and a bit yeah. of you know um working in an organization so it was internship they wanted to see can you actually do this on your own Right. right. So I'm there. I'm seeing other people. However, I'm facing my computer, working and uh, learning, basically. So I use Microsoft Learn to learn. And I also used something called App in a Day. Microsoft has App in a Day. And it was very, very, very explanatory. Right. 
so basically self-taught you talk to yourself i was talking to my computer you know this this this, this. <laughs> <laughs> it was it, it was that. <laughs> it was really beautiful it was it was beautiful i love and, that um, yeah please go ahead so just add Yes, to just add, so because it was an internship, I met um, amazing people, and one of which is still my friend here today, then we started things like accountability partner. <clears throat> and I'm not going to dwell so much on this, because so after Microsoft Power Apps, uh, after um, PAC, that's um, Microsoft Power Apps Africa Challenge, I'm going to offer a coaching session to talk to people about um, accountability partners, what you can do right. with accountability partners, what you can do with uh, our peer mentoring has actually helped me. So I'll be talking so much about that. But back to how I learned, I used Microsoft Learn and I used App in a Day. And of course, I had an amazing accountability partner, which, like I said, I'll be telling. I don't want to just dish everything out here now. <laughs> I'll be talking about that after the program. I love that. I, I, I like the fact that you were self-driven and that mm -hmm. you explored and went out there to find out what tools can help you. And then mm -hmm. you found yourself in a, an accountability partner who kept mm -hmm. you true to what you needed to do. Hey, it looks like we've actually got Favor back online. Let's check Yay. how the sound is working and let's see if Favor can hear us. Favor, welcome to the show. Guys, if you're watching virtually, show some love for my other special guest that is joining us. As I said, we're bringing on Favor, who is the Microsoft Learn Student Ambassador and also is a Microsoft Power Platform Advocate. Favor, how are you doing? Can we hear you? Oh, it looks like you're muted, Favor. It looks like we've still got some sound challenges. Uh, let's take another take of that. How are you doing? And can you hear us? No, still can't hear you, Favor. It looks like the tech is working again. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? We can hear yes. you. Come on. Welcome. 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 How are you doing, Favor? Thank you. Thank you. I'm very well. Very well. Um, I want to apologize for the network issue. I don't know what has been going on here um, ever since yesterday. I've been having issues with my network cables and all. But I believe um, we are good to go now. We're good to go, and we're just happy to have you on this platform of course talking about how people can boost their careers of course by learning about this uh, platform i wanted to check with you favor yeah. how did you get involved in this space okay. all right great thank you very much so um um my journey in microsoft's power platform started uh, when i joined the microsoft learning student ambassadors program um i could remember uh, a particular event was organized by a fellow Okay, he was then a student ambassador. He currently works at Microsoft, the person of um, Jeff Lettwamu. He's a cloud advocate currently now at Microsoft. And um, in that right. event, he built um, a laundry um, app with Power Apps. And um, the whole process seemed quite easy and stress-free. And, and at that time, I was um, a mobile developer building mobile applications with Flutter. And I understand how if I wanted to build that same application with Flutter, I wouldn't be done in a week. And then in one event, Jafflet was able to put almost everything together and the app was already fully ready to go live. And that was a really, really shocking experience for me uh, to say. So that drives my interest. I was like, okay, I really need to learn this. And uh, I think this is something I love to do because I'm someone that don't like stress. Uh, <laughs> I believe technology, <laughs> technology is there to help ease, um, ease your processes. So. Uh, a particular technology that requires so much to get done, I, I don't really like it. So when I saw Microsoft's Power Apps and saw what Straflet did, Microsoft Power Apps, that spurred my interest in it. And ever since then, it has been uh, ever increasing. Um, just yesterday, I organized an event here on my campus. Uh, I, I was able to bring in two campuses together to converge at my campus to teach them and inspire them about the Microsoft Learning Student Ambassadors program and also Microsoft Power Platform. We had an attendance of over 150 students at that event yesterday. And for me, I felt really, really excited. Yes, it was stressful to pull up the event, to organize the event because everything was solely on me. In my campus, we've not had an event like that for the past eight months. So um, a whole lot of challenges here and there to put together the event. But I was so excited seeing um, the uh, excitement on students' faces when I spoke about the amazing things 
I have done with Microsoft Power Platform and what they can do with Microsoft Power Platform. Oh, wow. It sounds like you've taken on this full hands on and well done for you for taking this to the grassroots level to meet up with students so they can understand how simple it is to build on this platform. I've heard consistently from Lola and yourself that probably one of the things that holds us back is that mental mindset that says, this is difficult. I'm not a developer. It might take long. And to build something, it will take long before I actually see the results. But upon taking on that challenge, you are soon to discover that the platform is easy to use. The platform is applicable for anyone who understands challenges, who can see opportunities, and who can see a chance to have impact in their society, in their school, or in their own world. So thank you for sharing that with us. And thank you for continuing to go to campuses to help students to understand that this is the platform to be on if you are looking to become a developer and solve business problems. So let's continue with the conversation. We had started the conversation already. And of course, you're joining us now as we're wanting to help people that are watching online know a little bit more and know what are the steps to register and what they should expect. So from your own pers perspective, what is the Africa Microsoft Power Apps Challenge? All right, thank you very much. Um, I love the way you uh, rephrase the question from my own perspective. I'm going to be taking my response to form my own um, perspective also. So for exactly. me, myself, the Power Apps Africa Challenge is, um, is something that uh, was really exciting to me when I heard about it. Uh, I heard about the Power Apps Africa Challenge for the first time from um, a senior crowd advocate at Microsoft, uh, uh, Mr. Larry Raju Ibuke. He was the one that told me about it. And we had a call. And I can remember one striking thing he said. He said something to me. He said, um, students right now should understand that um, whatever they don't get right on campus is going to be quite difficult for them um, later on in their career or in their lifetime. And then he said that Microsoft's Power Platform, sorry, am I still being heard? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. Am I still being heard? All right. Yep, I can hear you. you. So um, he said that. All right, thank you. So he said, whatever students don't get right on campus, it's gonna be difficult for them to get it later on in the future because you know, right there when leaving campus, um, it's as if the whole world is now on you. You have much more bigger challenges. You have a whole lot of things on your mind. So the Power Apps Africa Challenge is a time for students to channel all their energy into something good for a good cause, all right? You know, you're gonna spend a lot of time building stuff with very little or short time. You know, you have your academics also, but then you should be able to structure your time properly to be able to um, finish the learning uh, path that's there for you, you know, uh, build solutions and compete with people from all over the world. And um, there's a whole lot of um, exciting rewards and prizes for um, you if you get the finals up to the last stage. So the Power of Africa Challenge for me is a great opportunity for students and it shouldn't be taken um, likely at all. In my campus, I've been doing a whole lot of advocacy as well as um, in some other campuses. Um, we had an event, we had a Power Platform Bootcamp sometimes last month uh, in the College of Medicine in Lagos, uh, where we taught students. Uh, it was shocking for me seeing uh, students that were supposed to be much more interested in uh, medicine, you know, biology, and um, our very first event, our very first meetup, despite it being online, we, we had quite a large attendance. We had up to 70 students. And they were so excited. And I was like, wow, because I usually have this kind of uh, uh, for students in engineering or um, in the medical field that these guys are just focused on one thing, which is um, probably biology or something. But then they were much more excited when we talked about Microsoft Power apps, talked about the amazing things you could automate with Power Automate and everything. They were very, very much excited. And we've told them they've all signed up, they've all registered, and we are ready. We are ready. We are excited for the Power Apps Africa Challenge. Thank you. I love it. I love it. That's Africa in a nutshell. Born ready. There is opportunities, like I heard just now, from favor is that if you are a student, irrespective of which faculty and what degree program you're on, there is an opportunity for you to enhance, to boost, to grow your career 
by taking on and participating in this current challenge because it's open to everyone. And based on the area you're studying, you will see opportunities that someone else in a different faculty or different degree program will not see. So the campus advocation is going across uh, multiple institutions across Africa. Do not miss out on it. If you know a student, if you know a young person, a developer, or even a business professional who has always had an interest in technology, this is the challenge that you should be participating on because daily you'll have fun challenges that you participate on. You will earn points, and with those points, you can use them for multiple purposes. And one of the things Lola told us is that you could even use these points to have one-on-one -on -one mentorship with subject matter experts. Guys, we have not talked about any cost at all so far. All we have covered are things that we are giving. So the opportunity is there for you, for the taking. Of course, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, that's the URL you need to go to after this session. And of course, for you to sign up for yourself. We've heard, of course, that it's open to students, and we've covered that question. Let us continue to have this conversation and demystify it a little bit more. Then we're going to end up with your questions and, of course, uh, call to action, which is for you to sign up. So what do participants, what should they expect as they do this challenge? What should people expect? And I'm throwing this question out to both of you. Lola, maybe you could start off. Yes, um, thank you so much, Stuart again. An amazing favor. That was so beautiful. And let me just add to what Favor has said before I get right into this next question that yes, yes, Favor has confirmed to us that this challenge is very open to students, okay? And I've had some developers ask me that it, it, they say things like, okay, can I actually learn Power Apps? And I'm like, <laughs> it's so beautiful. You can learn Power Apps. So I'm, I'm trying this out that it is not just open to students. It's open to professionals, it's open to core developers, it's open to business users, it's open to anybody with the passion mm. to learn. Okay. And if you are a core developer, please, just like me, don't be so focused on uh, this, the, the tool. Okay. Instead, be open to the solution and perhaps <laughs> we'll get that for you. Okay. So, wh whatever you do, just come and learn. Come and learn. All right. So now, um, what will participants get while doing the challenge? We've already established the fact that you can get one-on-one -on -one, um, coaching. So if you have as anyone that you've been seeing online, probably on LinkedIn, who knows? They may actually be in the market and you can actually purchase them with the coins. So probably you've not been able to talk to them and you've seen them, you know, I won't, I'm not going to mention names, right? But there will be amazing people that would blow your mind, people that would, you know, push your career to another level. And um, yes, so they will be there in the market and you can actually buy them with your coins. And that depends on your participation, okay? That's one thing you can get while doing the challenge. Another thing you can get, if you're like me, Stuart, do you know that I actually odd, I odd um, swags, right? In my house, I have so many notepads, you know, Microsoft notepads. I have different notepads, really new notepads. So if you're like me and you like swags, mm -hmm. you are also going to get swags. You're going to get cool wow. swags, not just notepads. You will get electronic gadgets, amazing wow. things. Because for the Power Apps Africa Challenge, we have so many sponsors. So you will get swags from these sponsors. You will get swags from Microsoft, amazing things. Okay, so <laughs> this is the gift that keeps on giving. Not only are you getting an opportunity to learn, not only are you getting an opportunity to boost your career, you are now going to receive some corporate swag if you participate in this. And from what I'm hearing, some of that swag is super cool. It goes beyond pads, pens, and other things, including electronic goods. So if you needed a motivation to sign up, well, there's one more for you. The gift that keeps on giving. Wow. And favor. So, oh, sorry, Lola, you were going to say something. Yeah, I was actually going to say I would allow favor to talk about um, another thing that you, I, will, I will allow favor to talk about um, associate exam, the free voucher. So I know favor knows the importance of a free um, associate exam. So I'll allow favor to talk about that. Yeah, Favor, this is a great segue into our next question, of course, about the certification process and what it means 
for your career. So first of all, tell us about these uh, free certification uh, vouchers that you get. All right. Hey, Favor, did you catch my question there? Yeah, please, I'd like you to come again, please. All right, so my question to you was, of course, we're talking about the vouchers that you get if you're participating on this challenge. We wanted to know a little bit more what that means in terms of you getting certified and how it will boost your career. I hope you got that question. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead right now. So um, what does getting certified in Microsoft Power Platform do? I'll start from there for your career. So um, earlier this year, uh, when I started the whole Microsoft Power Platform thing, uh, I decided to go also for certifications. And um, recently, I got a job offer. Um, not exactly uh, what I do. Uh, I don't exactly work with Power Platform tools daily. But then um, something striking that happened during the interview process told that um, there were about um, three of us that got to the final stage of the rounds of interviews. And then um, I was selected despite being a student for a full-time role because of my knowledge on Microsoft Power Platform and because of my certifications. Because um, in my CV, I listed uh, one or two certifications that I had gotten as, even as a student in Microsoft Power Platform space. So these and many other benefits are some of the things that uh, you, you stand to get um, in your career. You know, um, one great, I, when I heard that um, the Power Platform Africa, Power Apps Africa Challenge comes with um, um, a free license for you to write the PL100, uh, I was really, really excited because trust me, if you're someone in Nigeria currently, if you're someone in Nigeria, you can't really, you, know, you can't even pay for that cost yourself because of um, the issue, the ban placed on our cards for you to make payments. Because I know, I know the worth of that cost. If you're going to pay for it, I know the worth of that cost. So you coming, so so you getting this for free is something that you shouldn't joke with. It's something you shouldn't joke with. As a student, earning certifications right now is something that will get, make you ten steps ahead in your career. Any certifications right now will push you ten steps ahead in your career. Uh, my mentor, um, Olariwaju Iboke, he told me something. He says that. Um, one of the things he feels like that got him into Microsoft as a senior cloud advocate is because of his certifications. He clearly stated that uh, while he was um, still job hunting and all that, that he decided to um, post um, sending out his resume, applying for jobs, and then he started chasing out certifications. And um, he got to know that with little or no time, he received five Microsoft certifications. And during his interview process, his recruiter was wow when he told his recruiter that um, I have personally been able to gain up to 25 Microsoft certifications. So for you, this might just be an opportunity for you to get your very first Microsoft certification. So you shouldn't joke with it. It's gonna give you, it's gonna push you 10 steps ahead, like I said earlier in your career. Thank you. Love it. I like the fact that not only is this helping you grow as an individual, but it's boosting your career and opening you up to new opportunities. Folks, I just want to take a quick pause here and talk about what certifications mean in the world we're in today. Our recruiters, our hiring managers today are focused on skills first. It's not that they're putting aside the traditional degrees that we have, but they're focusing on skills that can help them solve business problems. And part of those skills is what we're offering on this platform today. And not only are we offering you the skills to learn how to do things, but you're getting certification vouchers, which will help you to be globally certified and recognized. And here's one thing that you need to know. If you add the certificates onto your profile, onto your LinkedIn, learn, onto your LinkedIn profile, here's what it's going to do for you. You are increasing the chances of you being discovered. How much, you ask? How much do you ask, am I increasing my chances of being discovered by having a certificate on my profile? Up to 9%. And what's more, if you do the full certification and you show that you uh, truly understand and uh, have done the assessments to show you understand the platform, you're increasing your chances by a further 20%. So if you're a student, if you're a transitioning professional, 
part of the reason for you to join this challenge is that you're going to give yourself 29% advantage over someone else who hasn't invested in getting the skills in getting the certifications and adding them onto their LinkedIn profile. And what's more, when you add these on, opportunities come to you. You don't have to go looking for those jobs. Opportunities will come to you. And here's one more thing. Geez, this is the gift that keeps on giving. It's a special Friday. What's more, once you have joined this challenge that we're offering, you'll get access to an exclusive group on LinkedIn, where it's members only, where you start seeing some power platform jobs. How about that, folks? I said it's all about boosting your career. Now I'm giving you access to an exclusive group where we'll be posting jobs that are aligned to those who are certified, those who understand the platform and opportunities for you to boost your career. I love this. This is the gift that keeps on giving. If you've got questions, throw them into the chat. In fact, while I say that, let's have a quick look and see some of the questions that are coming up. Wanjira, thank you very much for sharing some important links that are for our audience today. Of course, you can always watch this show afterwards to see some of these links. And we're going to be posting them into the event group that we had set up um, today so that you can, of course, go in, find out where to register, find out how to build your skills, find out about the certifications and so much more about the skills challenge. Thank you very much. we got some comments coming through here. Oh, showing you some love all the way from Nigeria. Favor, I think you've got a fan base based on the story that you've been telling. Of course, Gretchen is watching. Gretchen, thank you for joining us on this session all the way from the USA. we got a global audience today. But as I said, the Power Up Challenge is for Africa. Gretchen here sharing some comments, of course, of the so many different use cases for our Power Apps platform. That's why we're opening it up to everyone because each and every one of us identifies different challenges in the walk of life we're in. So whether I'm employed and my company needs to have a petty cash system or whether I am in a community or society where there's a gap which technology can fix, that's what the Power Apps platform will do for us. Love it. We've got lots of questions coming in, but uh, I want to wrap up with a few of my questions and then we can start handling some of these online comments and questions. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, that excitement is kicking in. <laughs> then we can wrap up, of course, with some of the questions that are coming from online. Um, we talked about this, but some people have just joined now. Has any of you experienced this one-on-one -on -one mentoring that you get on this uh, challenge? Favor? Lola? I'll let Favor take okay. that. Uh, I think I'll go first on this. We can hear you, Favor. Please go ahead. Uh, have you experienced the one-on-one -on -one mentor? Can I go ahead? Yeah, go ahead. All right, great. Thank you very much. So um, for me personally, I would like to say that what has brought me this far in uh, my career, in my journey in Power Platform, is because I have a personal mentor, right? I have a personal mentor. And um, um, I, I would like to, I don't know if it's right to go public about this. Uh, I'll keep that for now. I'll keep that for now. But then uh, my personal mentor is always um, checking up on me. He's someone that's always wanting to push me out there. Favor, what are you learning? Favor, what are you building? What solutions are you building right now with Power Platform? Can you push out content? You know, uh, when I wrote my very first um, article on uh, Microsoft's um, um, blog, Microsoft Tech blog, uh, I wrote an article on Power Pages. Uh, that was because uh, I had someone who was there to help me, you know, understand some concepts and Power Pages. You know, Power Pages is quite new to the Microsoft Power Platform space. By the time you Come in with the Apps Africa Challenge, you will understand better uh, more about some other tools and products on the Microsoft Power Platform family. So I was able to successfully write and publish this article. And currently now the article has over 1,500 views on a Microsoft Tech Blog. Yeah. So uh, I was able to do that personally because of, because of my mentor. He was there to help me go through the article, review the article, make some minor adjustments, and then I sent out that article, and now currently now we have over 1,500 students, professionals, people from all over the world 
who have read and appreciated that article. So this is something that a mentorship um, gets for you, you know, these and many other opportunities. So you, when you have an opportunity to have a one-on-one -on -one mentor, you shouldn't take it lightly. And then this Power of Africa Challenge gives you that opportunity. So do not joke with the Power of Africa Challenge. Thank you. Thank you for that insight, Favor, in terms of what mentorship has meant to you. It's driven you to be more outward uh, focused in terms of sharing some of the skills, the experiences, and of course, the education that you've had and some of the impact and results that you've delivered on this journey. And now you're published on a blog that, of course, globally people are reading and it gives you access to new economic opportunities. I want to turn the lens over to you, Lola. So are you able to interact with other players I know it's a game. I know we're gamifying it, but can I interact with other players as I'm part of this? Yes, you can interact with other players. But one thing, um, Stuart, please allow me to say something about what Favor just said. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So you see, um, uh, why I'm actually advocating Power Platform, why I'm so much into community. At times, people ask me that, are you not tired doing this community? No. So, um, one of the major reasons why I am actually doing all of this is because I know what it means to not have a mentor. All right. I know I, I got a mentor later on, right? However, when I started my career, it was so difficult because I didn't have a mentor. And um, when I actually wanted to start advocating, you know, doing a lot of community work, I got a mentor, um, which actually helped me. And so I, I did something and I went back to my school and I organized a, um, a boot camp for people in my school. I made it open to the public and we had 903 participants just for Power Apps and uh, Power Automate data analysis with Power BI. Guess what? I was able to accomplish this because of my mentor. She's somebody that is, you know, very involved in the community. And she said, okay, don't worry. I have MVPs that would help you and train people. And, you know, with that, she just started calling people. And it was it was amazing. And all of this was because um, there is Olaji Maketariola that is, you know, able to mentor. So if you, I, I actually wish I'm a student right now, or I wish I'm just about to start my career. And, you know, I'll be able to... <laughs> I'll be able to have access to what Gretchen and the team, what the piece that we are actually planning, all right? Because there are so many things that you would not be able to see, but your mentor will actually push out for you. And if you actually go back, if you go to check Gretchen's live video, you will see some of the mentors, you know, I was checking all the mentors that would be available and I'm like, oh, wow, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> so, so Gretchen also has another event today that she's going to push out another mentor that will actually be available, you know, and it's so, it's so beautiful. So I just wanted to say that. So um, back to the question that you asked me, Stuart, another thing that you actually have opportunity to do in the Microsoft Power Apps Africa Challenge is that you would be able to network. Mm. So if you're in a group, mm. you will mm. be able to meet other people. Mm. All right. I know what networking has actually done to my career. I know what learning with somebody that is also learning has done to my career. All right. So you would you are doing this on your own however you'll be able to meet people okay so don't stay in your box <laughs> meet people <laughs> network with people you know there'll be people not just from south africa not just from nigeria there'll be people all over the continent of africa so you should you know reach out to somebody in south africa reach out to somebody in ghana reach out to somebody in kenya reach out to somebody in nigeria reach out to anybody that is also play. So yes, you'll be able to actually uh, meet people. And is it individual or group work? Let me just quickly steal the question. Yeah, sure. <laughs> that one. Is it, is it individual or group work? It is majorly individual. So you are doing this yourself. You are learning. Um, if you if you joined us from the beginning when I shared my story, okay. You were learning on your own. You have challenges. You have um, apps to build. You have, you know, you're doing this on your own. However, you have ants to hold you. Okay, you have people to hold you. So maybe you're about to fall. There will be people <laughs> to hold your ants and guide you, and you'll be able to actually learn so much. But it's not a group work. It is individual. You are doing it on your own, but with 
like I said, be guide, you know, more like guide, guide. Just like when you're about to take your first steps. So they're holding you, they're cheering you up. Come on, come on, come on, hold my hands. Like that. <laughs> and as you take your first step, you're going to go quickly into a sprint because this mm -hmm. is a simple platform. We have said it's open to business people. It's open yes. to students. It's mm -hmm. open to anyone who has a curious mindset and has always wanted to contribute into the technology space because guess what? There are no prerequisite skills that are required for this. Did you hear me right? There are no prerequisite skills required. However, there is a limitation on when you can sign up and when this challenge is going to end. So uh, Lola, maybe you could help us understand here in terms of the critical dates and reason why today we have a call to action for you immediately afterwards to sign up and for you immediately afterwards to notify other people within your network. As I said, each one teach one immediately after this live stream. What are you going to share with somebody else? Lola, what are the critical dates for people in terms of this call to action and the need for them to act now? Okay. So the first thing I want to say is we are looking at working with 2,000 people. Okay? That is the first limit you should know. 2,000. So, Let me make sure yeah. I heard that right. So if you 2, snooze, 000. you won't be part of the 2,000. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So you're thinking, am I the, you know, no, I'm, what, what, what number am I? Am I number one or number two? Or are they even full already? So 2,000 people. And uh, Microsoft Power Apps Africa Challenge is starting on the 7th of November. It's ending 28th of November. So do well to quickly if you're watching this right now, go register, tell your friends, tell your family members, tell everyone in your office. If you're like me, you would even send it to their team's um, personal chats. You know, I want to help you take on this, register. Who knows? Um, before the end of today, the 2000 might be complete. All right. So you want to do well. You don't want to snooze. You want to do well to quickly get it out there and register. So before you tell other people, you register first, <laughs> aka.ms slash PASC, register, then go tell people. I love that. Look out for number one first before we share it. But as I said, folks, this is a fantastic opportunity for you to invest in your career, for you to invest in your future because of the daily challenges that will keep you learning and keep inspiring you. But not, not only that, you're also going to have a support system. You'll have access to mentors. You'll have access to other players. You'll have access to groups that can help you as you go along this journey. And as we said, there's going to be some exclusive giveaways that you will get by participating in this. We've only got 2,000 seats available. So you snooze, you lose. Those 2,000 seats could fill up immediately after this show that we're doing right now. And not only have we got just the 2,000 seats available, this is only a three-week challenge. Did you hear me? Three-week challenge to have fun, to learn, to develop, and of course, to boost your career. If you want to know a little bit more about where you can find out about this challenge following this session, Here's a couple of hashtags for you to use. And of course, I'm encouraging you to share on LinkedIn, on Twitter, and other platforms what you heard today. Use the hashtags that you can see over here. And of course, choose to follow us on other platforms. Which other platforms? Well, on our Twitter accounts, we've got three accounts you can follow to find out a little bit more about this challenge. We've got Power Apps Africa, we've got Microsoft Africa, and of course, we've got MS Power Plat. You'll also find us even on YouTube. So some of the videos that we've recorded before will be available on YouTube. But like Lola said, don't snooze, don't lose. We've only got 2,000 spots available for us. If you are joining us now, we've had a fantastic conversation, of course, about the Microsoft Power Apps Africa Challenge. And what it is, in case you're just joining us, is an opportunity for you to gain skills and to get certified globally so that you can be recognized and given new career opportunities. It's a fun game. Just three weeks, folks. Three weeks for 2,000 people to be able to win amazing awards. And those awards are not just only swag that we spoke about, cool things, electronic gadgets, etc. But it's also the opportunity for you to be mentored 
by subject matter experts. And then ultimately, like we said, in order to boost our career, we're going to start putting these certificates onto our LinkedIn profiles. And when we put those certificates onto our profiles, opportunities will find us. And like I said, there's another exclusive offering to this whole thing. When you join, when you're part of this, you're going to get access to an exclusive LinkedIn group where we'll be sharing jobs and opportunities specific to those who are certified. So the call to action, if you didn't hear it before, I'm going to repeat it again. Go out and register today, folks. This is your opportunity for you to boost your career and take things to the next level. Let's see if we've got some questions coming in. We'll field a couple of questions. We're at the top of the hour. We're right at the end of the day. And of course, let's see what some of our online audience has been saying. Thank you very much. Emmanuel has been watching us and of course, feeding us with uh, his perspective of this session that we've been running. Of course, we've wanted you to have conversations in the chat and i see some people were running a little bit late but have started catching up those conversations will continue to be available and then later on today there's going to be another live stream gretchen will be hosting another live stream specific to this audience catch that interview today it's a mentor interview that's happening later on today there is the link in case you didn't know about it and didn't know where to go and sign up for it do it. Do it now. Find out firsthand from those who have been mentored, those who are currently mentoring, what this all means. And as I said earlier on, when Jira did share some of the links that are important for each and every one of us to know and to go and get additional information, those are going to be available in the event room which you joined this session from. So thank you, folks, for watching online. Thank you for sharing your perspective. Thank you for your questions. But more importantly, I want you to help me thank and recognize our two subject matter experts that participated in enabling you, in telling you more about this Power Apps challenge. So show some virtual love, folks. It's Friday. Show some virtual love to my subject matter experts. Lola and Favor, hit those reaction buttons. That's why we got LinkedIn Live. You can hit those reaction buttons and show some virtual love for these two subject matter experts that set us up for success with that being said i want to wish you all an amazing weekend i want you to act after the session which is to go up sign up for this particular session and for this particular challenge because like we said we've only got two thousand seats probably said that one time too many only two thousand seats which could fill up today so if you want to boost your career You've come to the right place. This is LinkedIn Learning, a live stream where we've shared opportunities for everyone in Africa. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. And of course, we look forward to seeing some of you succeed as part of this challenge. Have a good weekend, folks. Nothing but love for you. It's time to shine. Let's go at it.